the Connecting the World to Him broadcast, the teaching ministry of Heart to Heart International Ministries with Drs. Jerome and Tanya Taylor. Our assignment is to preach the good news to the poor, heal the broken heart, deliver the captive, restore sight to the blind, set at liberty them that oppress, proclaim the acceptable year of our Lord according to Luke 4 and 18. Okay, come on, let's continue to go with that. What we at? John 17. Uh, 17. Uh-huh. And um, uh, let's look at, we're, we're going to hit verses 20 through 22. It says, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Mm-hmm. Verse 21, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. Talking about relationship. That they also may be one in us. That the word, the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Now let's read verse 22 together. And the glory which thou gavest me, me, I have have given given them, that that they they may be one, even even as we are one. That's good. Amen. We want, God wants us to be one as he and the Trinity are one. Amen. Amen. All right. Want to hit one more? Yes, let's do, uh, oh, I love. Uh, I know you love Psalms, right? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesi- oh, Ecclesiastes. That's one of my favorites. Okay. Ecclesiastes <clears throat> chapter 4 and verse number 12. Ecclesiastes 4 and 12 in the Old Testament. Amen. This is good. This is cut the sucker out week. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> You got seven days to cut the sucker out, <laughs> starting tomorrow. Matter of fact, you can start tonight when we get out of church. You just email him. You ain't got to talk to him. Just email him. Text him. Text him. Text him with a big smile, with all the teeth on the smiley man. Text him. <laughs> now, Bishop, who was it that told us? We, I think we were at a conference, and they were saying that once somebody, once a person just like really tripped or they're no longer beneficial to their uh, life. And, and they're talk, you're talking about that journey. But they were saying that they put in their phone where they go in and they edit and then they put do not answer or something. Right, oh yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. different people have different yes, little yes. codes so that when that number comes up, you, but yeah. we don't have a way of like totally yeah, taking you can just, them out. No, you can put their name in, just put don't on the name, like you put the name in do not answer, do not that's answer. their name. Right. Okay. That's okay. the name. Because because some of you, yeah, that yeah, becomes their yeah, name. Yeah, like that becomes their name. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Do not answer. Because, That's your name. Do not answer. All right. Do not answer. And and, and we don't need to feel guilty. We have to feel guilty about that because there are some people you know. Once can, you can I give you a revelation that, with oh your phone? Goodness. Let me give you a revelation. Give you a little thought. <laughs> it's your phone. <laughs> You pay the bills. <laughs> you can answer when you want to. Text when you want to. Call forward. Text forward when you want to. Because the incoming call is coming in. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to let y'all just think about what I just said. Mm. No, no, no. You can't let your cell phone control your life. Amen. <laughs> That's true. Don't let it run your life. That's true. We're talking about people that don't need to be in your life. You'll need to definitely let them control your life. Yes. And when they call you, you don't need to let that happen because people mm, people are wow. interested. You don't need to let people just, just run your life and let your cell phone control what your next move is. Amen. Amen. I mean, you know, I believe there's, you know, Level phone courtesy and all that. But yeah. some people don't even, don't get, guess what? Some people don't even deserve your courtesy because they're supposed to be in your life. Right. You know, they've, they've courtesy me out. Courtesy, <laughs> not curse, courtesy me out. I've been courtesy, I've been so courteous when I met you, taking you out to dinner, <laughs> paying your bills, buying your clothes, buying your family stuff. I'm tired. <laughs> and what I get in return? Nothing. Nothing. I am tired. I got. I am, like you said, I am 
done. <laughs> so back to our original thought, do not answer becomes their new name. Just go up under edit on your phone and just put that in where their name is. All right, cool. Look at God. Y'all, how many got bill collectors? How many of you answer all their calls? I thought so. Treat them like you do the bill collectors. Y'all know. Y'all ain't trying to answer them and talk to them. <laughs> so treat. <laughs> anyway, let it go. Y'all can. Y'all have to answer when you want to. You know not when to answer the phone. <laughs> uh huh. You don't talk to them. You ain't trying to talk to them. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh Jesus. Okay, let's. All right. Mm -hmm. Ephesians uh, chapter four verse thirteen. You ready to move on? Yes. Yes. Good? You're I'm good. good. Okay. It's all out. I'm good. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes what did I just say? Ephesians. Okay, I was looking at the, okay, that's another one. Oh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 12. Oh, yeah, see, because the harmony of the text. So <laughs> they're even trying to be one. All right, but we're in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 9. Number, you want to start at 9. Yes. All right, and we're going to end up at 12. Let's read all of it together. Ready, read. Two, Two are, are better, better than, than one, one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him Stop out. Stop right there for a second. How are you going to have a relationship when you got two people in it? When you fall, they ain't there to pick you up. Wow. Because the, the Bible said that we need at least two people. You know, you need two. You need somebody yeah, in your life. Two. Somebody, you got to have a whole bunch of circle of friends. You really don't have, you have to have the tab 10, 20, 30. You need somebody, one or two, you know, two you're going to depend on, one you're going to depend on. But the Bible is clear that we need somebody. You need somebody. So we got to relate, we got to connect with that one person or those two people or whatever the case may be. But watch this, the Bible says two are better than one. Uh -huh. You ain't going to make one better than two. Two are better. Why? Because they have a good reward for their labor together, yes. which means that. That if you're in relationship with someone, there's two of us. We're laboring right. together. Toward, we're on a journey together. We're laboring. A good reward is going to happen. Your life being benefited by my life. My life being benefited by your life. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. Isn't that amazing? You there for them. You there for them. You there for them. You go through a little something. Nobody there for you. Wow. You there for this person. 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 This person under the carpet, over the carpet, around the house, whatever. You there for people all times of night. Every sacrifice you can make, you get in a jam, nobody comes to your aid. My God. That's crazy. My God. I had to stand up on that one right there. Yes. yes I just got to yes, shake yes, myself yes. right there. What you say? <laughs> nobody, all these people wow. that I have been for, bent over backwards, sacrifice, giving. If I had five, you getting two. Come on, 250 of it. And when I'm walking through a little scenario, not that I go through them often. Nobody is there for me. Wow. Something wrong, man. You need to check your friends. Check your friends. I mean, check your, check your especially like, you know, I understand yeah. that sometimes you're in a divine situation where God will have to help you out. But, I mean, there should be some times where you got somebody you can depend on, man. Amen. At least one or two, man. Yeah. At least a half a person. Yeah. Come on. It sucks. My God. Now, Bishop. In, the, in, in verse number nine, I, I like two. Something, man. Somebody. Have a person. Because up. we're talking about relationships in general. It says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Now, let's talk about the family household right here for a quick moment. Mm. If I, it's me, you, Destiny Dynasty, and Divinity. I'm going to use us as an example. Mm. Destiny is not going to leave the church. They won't even be mad at me because they're not in here to know that I'm talking about them. Look at God. When they get 18, they leave. Yeah. <laughs> but watch this. Right now, they're both, they have both have such an insatiable desire to work. Now, you and I are working. We bring in a, an income into the house, right? Now, imagine once Destiny starts working and she puts a little something in the pot. The Bible says that they have a good reward for their labor. Mm -hmm. So now that means the house begins to increase. Now, Dynasty, with her young self, she's almost there. I can't wait to push her over that edge. She thinks she's ready to get older so she can be grown and all that. That's good, too. But I like the ching. Ching, she needs to be able to get on, the, on that. Yeah. So she wants to work. But think about when Dynasty starts working. And she now brings in, as long as we're all living in the same yes. house. Now and let, let me throw something in there for on, the general it, audience. Throw it, throw it. And when they start working, their room is no longer free. It turns to a rental spot. Yes. Look at God. Look at this. Look at y'all. Wow. Rentalspot.com. 
Yes. Now you become a business owner. That space owner. they have is a rental spot now. Okay, just wanted to put oh, that in there. That is so good. But then it says. <laughs> yes, no more free stuff now. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Look at that. Now, that's, even, that's another great perspective. Look at God. Maybe that's what the Lord is saying to me about rental property. I'm looking on the outside hey, when I girl, should look be here. looking hey, within. Amen. <laughs> so, but rental that's, spot. That's a good. fraction of the lights, water, yeah, the space, yeah, and ready. I want my money on time. <laughs> Food. Don't play. Because you will come to your little room and your lock will be on the door if you don't pay your rent. You've been watching the Connecting the World to Him broadcast. We pray that your life has been tremendously blessed. Join us next week as we bring another dynamic word from God.